Longships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling. Playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We're here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, "'Tis better to live than to die, that the dead till no feels." You quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. This must be the Fort Toka mentioned. I need clues to Odo's whereabouts.
for Odo left the rock on his desk. Why bother? Nobody knows when he's coming back. <laughs> In God and Odo. <laughs> should be at his manor, the one with red flowers. You're off. Killing these waters. More sail! disguise in this place. Who goes there? Pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady. I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble reds to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. Our newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding in a wine cellar. I won't believe it. One of our nobles cowering. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those rats I need to meet with Odo. Help me bash down this door! One of our guests has locked himself in the wine cellar. Let me. Oh, Lord Clovis. You have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Clovis outside while I... Nothing to fear. 
I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. This drunk has a paper in his pocket. Looks like the writ I need to meet with Count Odo. I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lofa... We shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce, and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath, before God, to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosler, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Frankia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he let Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen and Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The 
hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. True, but a wise sailor still listens to the wind. It may foretell a coming storm. Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toka. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover. Just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself. But, uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking. We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toka is right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker, it matters not. But soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word, once given, is never broken. I will fight at your side, Sigrid. Never doubt. Enough. Friends, uncle. We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox. A tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she may stand in front of an army, like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. Ah. <laughs> uh... What do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. I need to lay the groundwork for the siege. What to do first? 